My name is Chaos Causes, and I'm an OCD biker. Hi, Chaos Causes. You see, I don't really have obsessive compulsive disorder. I'm just here to please my friends and family who insist that I have a problem. Same here. Me neither. I'm perfectly fine. Please fix your hat, it's really bothering me. But I don't have OCD either. Thanks. Now you can go on with your story. Well, the other day I was riding along and there was this puddle that I just couldn't avoid in time and I was forced to go through it. So, just like every normal person, I immediately pulled over to assess the damage. And then I pulled out my emergency pack of baby wipes and began to clean the tail that had been spattered with water from God knows which of the seven seas. Yep, seems normal to me. I've got my emergency pack of baby wipes right here. Me, me too. too. I've got two packs. That's what I thought. And then I get where I'm going, I park the bike up, and I begin to walk away and do that obligatory look back to check the bike out when I realized that the bike wasn't perfectly parallel with the parking space lines. Now, I don't want to be in the way of everyone else in the parking lot. So I got out my travel spirit level and set square and began to straighten the bike properly. Now, obviously it wasn't that easy with the already skew parking space lines but I mean, that's just what you have to deal with with modern parking lot standards. I know the feeling. Tell me about a it. A daily battle. It's a nightmare. And you would not believe the flack that I got for selling my R6 because only one headlight comes on as a running light. I mean, I could deal with the odd idiot telling me that one of my headlights was out, but the asymmetry just bugged me. I went through just about every single R6 forum to see if there was a way that you could jerry-rig the headlights to both come on as running lights, but I'm not much of an electrical engineer. So in the end, I just ended up buying a more sensible and symmetrical bike that both lights come on as running lights. Same reason I sold my CBR600. But I think one pet peeve that just about every biker should be able to agree on, whether they have OCD or not, is when somebody leaves your passenger foot pegs left down. Or even worse, when they only leave one down. I mean, they are designed to flip up for a reason. And they even engineer a really satisfying click when you fold them up, just to help persuade you to fold them up. I mean, if the front pegs could fold up, I would definitely do it just to get that extra clean look. What are the chances? That is why I divorced my first three wives. But the final straw was when I developed a repetitive strain injury in my thumb from cancelling my indicator every five seconds, just so that I wouldn't forget it on accidentally for seven miles. People kept getting irritated because they would always get lost when following me. I would cancel my indicator out of habit even when I was actually turning. So I would turn and they would just end up going straight. But I just saw it as payback for when most bikers leave their indicators on for miles on end, leaving me confused. Seems fair. Uh -huh. Well, at least now I know that I'm perfectly normal and it's everyone else that's crazy. I'll see you guys next week. Fix your hat. Sorry.